Hey guys, welcome to Crave Online's Back to School Survival Guide, and welcome to my place. I'm Kellen, and my friend Nastasia just stopped by to give me advice on decorating my place, how to give my room more style, and maybe even help with my calc homework. Hi, I'm Nastasia, and my channel is Laguna Beach Love 10. I've been vlogging for about four years now, the reason why I decided to start vlogging about DIY and decor is because I've always been super creative. I love designing things and just really making them my own. I think Kellen has a lot of great pieces that do reflect his personality. He may just have a little bit too many and they're not really organized properly. Nastasia, I think I've done a pretty good job at putting my place together, but I know I could use some help with style. So what do you think? How's my man cave doing so far? Well, it's actually pretty good. I totally see where you're going with it. I really like the sports memorabilia, but those horns have got to go. Oh, come on, my grandfather won those in a rodeo. <laughs> okay, fine. We'll find some way to use them. I definitely think there's a few things we can do in here to turn this into the man cave that you really want. Did you have anything else in mind? Well, I like to entertain a lot. Me and my friends like to watch movies, play video games, sports, but cases and controllers tend to get misplaced a lot. So something to organize my electronics and media would be really awesome. Well, I think that's definitely a good place to start. Anything else? Well, this couch, that couch there has seen better days. It also doubles as my bed. And me and my friends, we can't stand to watch a whole movie on it, let alone a football Sunday. So do you think you can find anything affordable to replace it? Well, that depends. How much are you willing to spend on your man cave? I've only got $1,000. Do you think that's enough? Totally. Studio apartments are really tricky because you need to be able to do a lot of different things in a really small space. So it's really great to choose furniture pieces that are multifunctional. IKEA is great because everything's super affordable and they have really, really cute stuff. So it's really great to choose furniture pieces that he can sleep in, hang out with his friends, and study all in one space. Living in an organized space makes you feel better and it's also great when you can find what you're looking for. Wow. <laughs> This place looks amazing. I cannot believe we did this for under $1,000. I know, IKEA has so many affordable products that we were able to use to take your space to the next level. Like this Festo Entertainment Center. It's great for storing your gaming devices, video games, controllers. It also creates a really great focal point in the room and it hides away all those cords. Yeah, I definitely don't want to be tripping over my games and controllers all the time. That's not a good thing. <laughs> Futons are a great way to maximize your space. This one's super comfortable for watching your favorite sports team on game day. You can just go ahead and fold it down and turn it into your bed. Plus, you can take off the cover to wash it. Well, I'll be doing that for sure. <laughs> a sitting area isn't complete without a side table. This Strin side table is really great for extra storage. It's also super mobile. I know you're going to be doing some studying here and there, so this McKay desk is really great. It has extra storage for your books and also has a cable outlet at the back to hide away all your cables. Nice. Nostalgia, I had no idea we could stretch my budget in the way that we did with all this really cool stuff. And you kept my horns. I love them. Thank you. Anytime. Yeah, and uh, about that calc homework. 